Hey yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Tylerius and in this video I'm going to be talking about why you should buy the MOC. Now listen, you do not need, you don't have to buy the MOC, but it is on sale this week. It's a really good discount and there are some very compelling reasons why you should own the MOC, not really for the money making purposes, but because the MOC cab, the actual part of the vehicle that you drive, not the trailer, is the most defensive vehicle in the game. It is one of the strongest vehicles in the game. Now it is on discount this week. The prices vary depending on which one. There's two different types, the Phantom and then there's the Holler. I'll let you guys check those out. And then I'll also recommend which one that I think you should go with here at the end okay first of all let me remind you guys the MOC is behind a paywall you need to own a bunker now if you've been watching my videos you've been following my methods my guides you know the bunker is one of the most important businesses to own in GTA 5 online so you should already have a bunker you should if not you need to get one okay that's very important but let's go ahead and say you have a bunker. That's the only place you can store the MOC. So it is behind that paywall. Again, you don't have to have this vehicle, but like I said, the information I'm about to show you, the stats on this thing, it's it's almost unbelievable. And talking about that, let's get right to it, okay? So <laughs> the MOC cab, the actual truck, is a total juggernaut. It takes 66 rockets to destroy this thing. Yes, you heard that correct. 66 rockets from the Mark II to destroy the MOC cab. It is crazy. 66 rockets to take this thing out. It takes 23 RPGs to destroy this bad boy. So, I mean, that is ridiculous. That's insane. We have to fast forward through all this or this video will be like 45 minutes long. It's crazy. Um, so, I mean, that's <laughs> not many vehicles can give you this kind of defensive capabilities. You have the Night Shark, you have the Insurgent, which are very good as well, but none of them give you the type of defensive capabilities against the Mark II as the MOC cab. With the Sticky Bombs, it takes 23 Sticky Bombs to destroy this bad boy as well. Uh, we had the cops intervene real quick there, so I had to let those guys do their thing. Um, but that's this is incredible. I mean, that, that's wild. It's going to be very difficult for somebody to light you up with 23 RPGs or sticky bombs before you kill them. If you have one, two, even three Mark IIs on your tail, they're not going to be able to destroy you on the first run. They're going to have to reload their vehicles, okay? That's sick. The only Achilles heel or weakness the MOC has is against the anti-aircraft trailer with the 20 millimeter flat cannon on there. It only takes four rounds for you to be destroyed. Now let's get into the differences between the two cabs. You have uh, the hauler, which is what I'm driving, and then you have the phantom, which is what Skycarp is driving. And big shout out to Skycarp and P. Manji. Thank you guys so much for helping me out. It really was, it was awesome, dude. This is really fun. It, it was pretty cool. Uh, as you see right here, the Phantom is faster. Now, when you attach the trailer, the hauler is going to be faster. I don't understand why it's like that. It's kind of weird. But the trailer does a few kind of weird things to this vehicle. Um, you'll see a little bit later on, it adds, uh, or it doesn't add, but it kind of takes away from the defensive capabilities. Uh, we'll see that here in just a minute. But I wanted to show you guys with uh, racing. Now, I know it's just an airport. I, I hate doing the airport uh, to, you know, test vehicles with racing, but obviously we can't, you know, go into a, a track or a race setting. But you guys get the idea. Now, if you have the trailer on this vehicle, it actually drops the defensive capabilities. It only takes 20 mark two rockets to destroy the vehicle when you have the trailer attached so if you want to go riding around in free mode and stuff like that do not have the trailer on the actual vehicle disconnect the cab you do that by holding down the right arrow key just hold down the right arrow key and it will pop off the uh the cab and as you see right here it just knocks me out so i mean that's just <laughs> it's weird it's, it's it's crazy right rockstar logic um so I wanted to test out the actual Phantom against the Mark II missiles, and it is the same thing. It takes 66 rockets to destroy it. I mean, it's these things are a juggernaut. It's a beast. 
you know, we're having to swap out Mark twos. It, it took forever to get this done. So again, big shout out to P Manji and Scott Carp. Thank you guys so much. It really did help out. This is a lot of fun. Uh, so, I mean, these things are just beasts, all right? Now, uh, it does have bullet-resistant uh, windows on the front and the side, and it takes 17 rounds from a standard Mark II, 16 to break the glass, and then on the 17th, you'll get a, uh, a shot. So 16 to break the glass, 17 to, to score a hit. And that's through the uh, front windshield or the side. They both have the, the bullet-resistant glass. Um, so that's pretty cool. You'll actually have some decent, you know, defensive capability against small arms fire. Same with the Phantom, even though the the hauler has like the uh, the metal bars at the top. You know, it doesn't really do too much to give it any more, uh, you know, small arms protection. It really doesn't. So as you see right here, it's kind of showing you guys what it looks like. Uh, break through the glass on 16 right there, and then get a score a hit on 17 right there. So, you know, pretty cool. Very very. Good. Now, another reason why I like the Phantom a little bit better than the Hauler is this guy right here. If you're going to be, you know, fighting against other vehicles or protecting yourself against Mark IIs, one of the biggest advantages with the Phantom is you're able to use throwables. You can throw sticky bombs out the window. That's very important. It gives you offensive capabilities, plus you can use, you know, your AP pistol, stuff like that. Now, with the hauler, because you have those metal bars, you're unable to use your throwables, which is a big deal. You have to rely on your AP pistol as your offensive capabilities in this vehicle. So that's pretty, you know, substantial. That's one of the reasons why I like the Phantom overall. Uh, another little test that we did, we just kind of did a little, little bit of a torque test, right? Uh, and again, the Phantom pushes, it bullies the uh, it bullies the hauler around a little bit. So another reason why I would go that route. Some people are like, Ty, why don't you just use the Phantom Wedge? The Phantom Wedge is great until you get a rocket shot at you. You saw right there, it's not the best. Uh, testing the bulletproof glass or the bulletproof or bullet resistant glass on drive-bys. And it does pretty decent. You'll be able to drive right by somebody getting shot at. You should be able to make it through. You should. You should have uh, enough to get through right there. So this is why you should have a MOC. It's not going to be for making money, but it is going to be for defensive capabilities, especially against a Mark II. Now, technically, yes, you can make money from the MOC. You know, I don't want you guys to freak out. Yes, you can. It's just not the greatest. But if you are going to be getting this MOC, like I said, this is going to be something that will help you in defensive capabilities against the Mark II. If you want the best vehicle for that, it's not the Night Shark. It's not the Insurgent. It's the MOC cab. It's either the Phantom or the Hauler. That's incredible. It's crazy. All right, so there you guys have it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped out. Remember, the MOC is on sale this week. It does have a discount, so take advantage of that for this reason exactly right here. All right, thank you all so much for coming to the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content and the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.